actually um, tinitingnan natin kung paano natin ma-increase yung uh, productivity ng uh, uh, palay of course bigas sa Pilipinas sapagkat uh, alam nyo magkakaroon naman ng lamin niya uh, by expected natin November according to the Weather Bureau so kailangan natin mapaghandaan ng ma-APA sapagkat from El Nino na punta tayo ng Laninia, kapag hindi natin tinayamin yung ating uh, pagtatanim, uh, tatamaan tayo ng food shortage. So what we would like to do right now is, uh, I'm talking to the seed growers. Gusto ko malaman kung uh, gaano karami yung available seeds, sapagkat we have to plant by July. Kasi tatama yung Laninia ng November, July, August, September, October. So kailangan ba October nag-harvest yung mga farmers natin. Kaya kinokuantify natin ngayon, tinatanong ko yung mga seed growers, meron bang available? Kasi may pera kami ng pambili at kailangan namin maibigay sa farmers right away para kung maitanim ng July, maiwasan natin yung lalim yan. Hindi ko na be able to have uh, enough rice stocks. Right now, ang ating uh, national uh, food, uh, rice uh, supply uh, nasa bodega ng NFA, private warehouses, sa gabi ng households. It's good for about 103 days. Uh, there is a standby uh, uh, permit uh, to import uh, 500,000 uh, metric tons. Right now, we don't still don't, don't, don't need that. Uh, pero uh, gusto nating uh, makita kung uh, ano ang ating kapasidad na magpulos ng uh, bigas po. Sir, uh, you know, You know what? I was really impressed by the way the President-elect handled the second bigger uh, cabinet meeting kasi iba nung una, konti lang kami uh, and it was more of a getting to know you yesterday he discussed a lot of things and I was really impressed by the way he handled the, uh, the uh, cabinet meeting well tinag-usapan uh, nila yung of course yung ano yung uh, yung uh, initially yung K-12 at pinag-explain niya si uh, Secretary Briones <coughs> kung anong kanya pananawa. Sabi naman ni Secretary Briones, it's too late in the day to, uh, to uh, no, shift gears because uh, nabumpisa na nga yung uh, uh, pasupan and there is a law uh, at sabi ni Secretary Briones, kapag uh, binago yung uh, K-12, uh, the, the leadership will be violating the law. So basically that's it. But she was open to, you know, uh, improvements and modifications but she was steadfast in her position na uh, at this point in time there is no way we can uh, we can uh, amend that or, or change that kasi meron nang batas uh, on the other hand uh, yung kay secretary uh, Arto Gadi naman uh, he reported to the president and he proposed to the president on how uh, the traffic problem in Metro Manila could be addressed and uh, he presented very practical solutions uh, like say for example, uh, yung pagkilala ng mga kolorong vehicles na dapat ay mawala sa kalsada. It was a very good proposal. And uh, Secretary uh, Ben Jokno reported that as of the moment, uh, the government still has about 1.7 trillion pesos uh, in the offers. Uh, left with about uh, six months to go before the end of the year. And uh, he said that uh, he believes that there is enough money for the new administration to uh, right away implement its uh, programs. Uh, sa kay Secretary Dominguez, he also actually uh, uh, reported on uh, you know uh, the proposed uh, meeting of businessmen with the different secretaries on uh, June 20 and 21 here in Davao. And uh, we, the president, <coughs> the president is expected to be uh, present on the second day. Ako naman, I reported on uh, uh, my travel because uh, two days after he appointed me as his uh, agriculture secretary, I actually uh, uh, started a journey which I called behind booking, which brought me to uh, the different parts of the country. No? Except for a few island provinces, I have virtually covered the country. And I reported to the president na grabe yung epekto ng El Nino, na kailangan matulungan ka kagad mga magsasaka. And so uh, I propose that we, uh, upon assumption, we start a cash for work program for the farmers and the fisher folk. The farmers uh, na may, may tanimong palay, paglilinis ng mga irigasyon, pag-desilt uh, ng mga dams na silted para magkaroon sila ng trabaho. 
yung mga corn farmers naman and other crops, they could repair the roads and we will pay them. Yung mga mangingisda naman na napaikto din ng El Nino, pwede magtulong sa paglinis ng karagatan, mamulot ng mga basura, uh, at babayaran natin sila, magtanim ng mga mangroves uh, para magkaroon sila ng uh, buhay for the next two or three months. No? Depende, depende sa bilis na makarecover sila. The uh, program is so inclusive that even the batyaos will be uh, will be drafted in the uh, National uh, Coastal Waters Cleaning Program. And uh, the President also approved the search for the most outstanding coastal communities na gagawin namin on a yearly basis. Ang first awarding will be December. Uh, pipiliin namin yung pinakamagaling na coastal community na walang illegal fishing, uh, mayroong marine sanctuary, nag-observe ng off-season fishing, uh, walang basura sa coastal waters, at effective mangrove rehabilitation and protection. Ang mananalo dito ay tatanggap ng uh, 10 million in uh, in funds to be used for livelihood. Also, uh, the president uh, was informed of my plan to engage the Bajaws, na yung ating mga sea gypsies na naghihingi lang, nagpapalimos sa mga kalsada ng Metro Manila. We will engage them in a uh, unique project uh, where they will be drafted as Bantay Dagat. At ang trabaho nila, pabantayan ay mga dagat na uh, emalinis. We will provide them with bankas para sila ay mamumulot ng mga basura. And we will pay them. Ang isang hiling ko lang na uh, uh, kung maaari ay mga anak nila, mapag-arali nila as a condition to their employment. Ang mag-head po nito special project na ito is a young Banjao kid from uh, Tawi-Tawi who graduated Magna Cum Laude. And uh, we will be taking him in as uh, the head of that uh, special project. Pwede naman magaling yung Penn Oh, no, we, there is money in government. Meron, you know, DA itself. Yes, of course, DA. And then, uh, meron din kami isang unique program na i-implement namin, uh, pagkain para sa masa, dahil nga sa statement ng ating presidente na walang Pilipinong dapat matulog na butong, na walang naman na sigura. So, uh, initially, in Metro Manila, we will be putting up uh, Aros Caldo feeding stations, Uh, na pwede puntahan ng mga street, uh, mga migrants, mga street dwellers, yung mga street urchins, mm. mga bata na pakarakalat yan para makakain sila. We will be doing this program. The DA will be the lead agency. The DOH will be there para paghingin lang ng pagkain ito check up sila ng DOH. DSW will also be there. And then in the process, we will be, uh, we will be uh, putting them in a database. Kasi ang program talaga ng DA, is to uh, engage these people into uh, food production. Kasi meron kami experiment to gagawin yung uh, greenhouse technology na ilalagay namin sa mga bakanting buhok sa Metro Manila at tuturuan sila ng mga Israelis na magtanim ng kamatis within the greenhouse. Kamatis, uh, cucumber, mga gulay na kinakailangan so that they will become productive. All this we are doing because we would like to make, the president would like to make the people feel that this is an inclusive government. Sir, na ang lahat ay, uh, hindi naman ito parang dole out and encourage no. more no, 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 no. street in dwellers? Fact, in fact, it's the first process, it's the first step towards alleviating them from poverty. Kasi hindi man ito pahabag buhay. Eh. Kaya nga, uh, ito check sila ng DOH for their health. health. And then, he did data, lalagay natin sila sa database, ito training for visible growing in uh, the urban area through that greenhouse technology. The good thing about this, yung greenhouse technology na yun, yung Israeli group mismo na yun, ang bibili ng produkto nila. Uh, because yung, yung vegetables to be produced from the greenhouses actually will be very, very good quality vegetables. Sir, so, you know, what is the need for the cash flow? How much is it? Uh, initially, uh, we're... we're We're putting up about uh, maybe 200-300 million for the cash flow program. Uh, the DA still has money. Uh, mayroon pang naiwan sa 2015 uh, budget, about 2 billion uh, pesos. And uh, that could be used uh, for this program, including the seed procurement. For the 2016 uh, budget, mayroon pa silang naiwan ng mga 27 billion minus uh, yung mga obliga uh, obligatory, uh, uh, ay, mandatory obligations. Uh, eh, may may iwan sa mga 20 billion. So we're talking here about 22 billion. But last night, the, when I presented to the President uh, my findings sa behind the and my proposals, I asked for an additional budget of 30 billion pesos for the next six months para yung total agricultural rehabilitation 
dito na papasok yung pamimili namin ng seeds pag suporta sa mga farmers para makarecover sila from the effects of El Nino. Uh, so, you described the uh, general mood last night. Pardon? Yung general mood. Oh, happy. Uh, we were all happy. The president was uh, was very happy. He, he was, you know, uh, in a light mood. Uh, he was, but he was serious, no? Mm -hmm. He was serious. And uh, after we left, or before we left, actually, he called the chief PNP, the uh, the uh, head of uh, the army, uh, para pag-usapan yung problema sa Sulu. You know? And uh, while I'm not privy to uh, what was discussed, uh, when I left, I saw them huddled in one corner, and they were talking about the problems sa uh, Sulu in preparation for the assumption of the president. What was the inauguration? Well, inauguration, uh, the president informed us that uh, we could not bring our wife or wives uh, or her <laughs> friends uh, because uh, the space is limited to only about 500 people. So, sabi niya, Masas, I would like to invite your family and your friends uh, to come with you. I could not. So, coming mga cabinet members, mag-isa kami pupunta. So, walang mga kasamang... Uh, wala. Wala. Uh, kayo lang talaga. Wala. Uh, 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 meron na kayo nakuhang, uh, kumbaga, nasabi kung sino-sino yung mga guests. Well, uh, of course, yung immediate family ng ating presidente, yung mga tao tumuno sa kanya during the campaign, mm -hmm. uh, photos of figure really in the campaign, uh, yung mga cabinet uh, secretaries, yung uh, members ng diplomatic corps, mm -hmm. uh, we of course invited. But the, uh, the guest list, uh, I was, uh, the president told us, will be limited to about 500 people only. Outfit, sir. Outfit. Outfit. How do you think that considering uh, being relevant you know, it's the president's call. Of course. So, okay lang sa Of course. Pa, kami hindi? Hindi na si <laughs> naman. So, yung pamilya niya, si uh, mayor, vice mayor, uh, sino ba, si na Hanilet, si... Uh... I, my, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I cannot comment on who's who who's there. I cannot. So, wala pa na pag-usapan sa Oh yes, based on based on uh, the uh, presentations uh, he uh, asked us to do, it would uh, appear that he was really uh, concerned with uh, uh, young K-12. He was concerned with uh, available and affordable food. He was concerned with uh, the security. He was concerned with how much money there is to uh, make people feel that they're being served. Uh, ito, yung mga, ito yung mga major issues na, and of course, yung traffic na Metro Manila. Sir, ano yung marching orders na sa inyong tungkol sa smuggling? Onion, rice, garlic? No, no smuggling. No smuggling. And I talked to uh, Nick Fildon last night. Uh, there will be uh, a uh, a uh, collaboration and mm -hmm. convergence of efforts between uh, the DA and uh, the Postos. In fact, I'll tell you a story. Nick Fildon was already working with me, actually. I already took him in mm -hmm. as a, as a undersecretary for regulations. Nung nasa, sumasama niya sa akin sa Diyahin Bukid, nung nasa Mindoro kami, biglang tumawag yung Dabao, pinapunta siya ng Dabao. Kevin Hero, nga sabi ko, baka pabalik mo ito, ikaw ang secretary, ako ang secretary. <laughs> and let us, only later on when I found out that he was appointed as, uh, he was named as a Cosmos Commissioner. And I'm uh, very happy. Pero, Nick Wildon is a very upright person and I believe there will be a force in the world. general instructions na lahat ng kapitulong? Well, we were, we were asked, we were told by the President, sabi niya, uh, there should be no corruption in government. Make sure that there is no corruption. Uh, nobody from, from me or my family will interfere with your job and your work. Uh, I'm giving you the, the free hand to choose your people who will work with you. But at the same time, Sabina, you are answerable to me for whatever misdeeds the people you have chosen will do. So, ganong ka, ganong ka simple yung kanyang instructions. Uh, he was, he trusted us. Uh, sabi niya, I trust you, I trust your judgment, at kung ano man ang uh, desisyon na gagawin niyo, as far as the selection of your undersecretaries. By the way, let me introduce to you uh, Undersecretary 
incoming no? under secretary uh, attorney Rani Bayan Langaden uh, she will be under secretary for uh, uh, special concerns and conflict areas especially in the Bangsamoro area I need somebody to really help me uh, and uh, of course uh, under secretary uh, designate uh, Evelyn Badinia for high value crops we have here uh, assistant secretary Hansel Tedulu for uh, for Visayas, no? and uh, my recommend for uh, the National Education Administration, recommend ko kasi hindi ba, technically hindi, hindi under sa akin yung niya, eh. uh, si uh, Director Cesar Subay, and of course uh, my nominee uh, for uh, the Bureau of Fisheries and Quantic Resources, retired Commodore uh, Eduardo. Thank you. So, ano yung sinabi ni Major Oh yes, of course we're accountable for whatever for whatever uh, uh, missteps we we make. A very clear yung kanyang statement. Walang corruption. Walang corruption. No, no, no. Of course, wala pa namang wala pa namang corruption na nakikita. No, but wala siyang warning na kapag ka kayo ay nagdeviate. I think it's it, it follows. No, I mean when, when he said when he told us that you know you're accountable to me, you can do whatever you uh, wish. You can do whatever you feel is right and proper. But you're unsuitable to me, and I know I know the the mindset of this president. Mm -hmm. This president, uh, you know, uh, would relieve the whole department and the city hall the moment na may isang mm -hmm. And I think that's that's that still would be the same mindset that he will uh, he will have as president. Yung accountability. Sinasabi so from niya, the sec to the janitor, parenta. Uh, of course, I think that's 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 the way it will, it will go. No? Hindi naman siguro yung janitor siguro po natin. Pero sabi niya eh. Hindi. Yung magmula, o diba? Magmula sa taas ng janitor. Ako, okay lang. Sabay-sabay kami. Kapag nagkasala ako, di sabay-sabay kami. So you're saying yung parang nobody is indispensable? Nobody is indispensable. Nobody is indispensable. Walang, ano, walang holy cow dito. We are all unsearchable for any decision or wrong decision that we make, any step that we take or missteps that we take. Yes. No, that was briefly proposed by by Secretary Tugate, and it was referred to uh, incoming presidential uh, legal chief uh, attorney Salvador Panelo. Mm -hmm. And by the way, let me also mention that based on my recommendations for him to make a policy statement on the Coco Levy, uh, President-elect uh, Duterte, Tony Duterte, directed uh, uh, Secretary Panelo to uh, look into all of these, uh, the legal requirements, no? To, uh, to release the money to the farmers. Ang sabi niya lang, that is an emotional issue. Even my mother you know, uh, paid, uh, contributed to the Coco Levy funds. It should be returned to the farmers. It should be given to the farmers. And sabi niya kay Atty. Panalo, Sal, look into this. I really would like the Coco Levy funds to be, to be given back to the farmers. Sir, when you say it was referred to uh, presidential judge, Pag-aaralan po, is it being taken? Kasi mayroon pa namang mga legal requirements, di ba? Pag-aaralan mo kung paano mo i-implement yung pag-release ng Coco Levy Parks. Use emergency powers po sa traffic. Ah, it was na, actually it was proposed by Secretary R. Tugad. And ang pagkaintindi ko was that it would be referred to the legal minds kung ano ang extent ng power na yan. Pag-aaralan. 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 Pag-aaralan.